Hey Great Jammers, Greg here, hope you're doing well. Um, today we're actually going to take a look at a brace of Flokies. Uh, hailing from Iceland, uh, sent over by the master distiller over there, Eagle. Um, and yeah, such a cool story. Uh, you'll see on the YouTube channel as well, we'll have an interview with him and a little walk around his distillery too. Um, uh, he's just such a great guy really passionate and what they've been doing there and what they've been achieving over in uh, Iceland has been phenomenal. Um, Kirsty and I, my wife and I, uh, were actually over there uh, surprised her with a trip to Iceland for her birthday a couple of years ago and we were in a bar called the Dylan's Whiskey Bar, great name obviously, um, and on the back bar there was a little barrel, uh, not too dissimilar in size to the little barrel that I have uh, maturing old samples uh, in my office, uh, a little four litre um, and it had uh, Flocky on it, and so you know, tried it, um, and it's a really young spirit. And so they put it in a few bars just to get some feedback, some understanding of what people thought of the early doors spirit, really. And um, yeah, since then I've kept a tab on what they're up to. Then recently got in touch with the girl just to have catch up, see how they're doing, when their uh, actual single malt is being released, which is in um, a couple of months. So that's very exciting for them. Um, and yeah, he kindly sent over one Flocky young malt. And one flocky young malt, which has been, which is also called sheep dung smoked reserve. So uh, the kind of peating or the smoking of that uh, product is done by sheep shit, really. So yeah, a little bit unique. Um, but let's crack on. All right, leave these two guys there. And so this is the young malt, not the uh, smoked one. Wow, you really get that kind of barley character. It's all Icelandic barley, by the way. Uh, barley to bottles, their whole kind of story. It's all, everything is Icelandic that goes into it. Um, even Eagle's beard, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Lovely malt character. Quite a bit of tobacco notes on there as well. Mmm. kind of sweet, a very, very subtle sweetness, kind of almost ebbing its way through as you nose it. Uh, some kind of lemongrass, quite herbaceous. Um, definitely the most herbaceous uh, whiskey I've nosed for a while. That tobacco notes, lovely. Whew. Like an old, old cigar, beautiful. Fantastic. All right, let's have a go. Mm. You know what, for a very young whiskey, let me just remind myself here actually. This is their first edition, bottle 188. Um, and yeah, so it's not quite called whiskey yet, hence Icelandic young malt is what's on the label. So it's less than three years old. And, oh, what's the ABV? 47%. Mm. Now it's like tobacco leaves wrapped in bay leaves, wrapped in caramel. It's a really, really intricate and, and a multi layered flavour, actually. Uh, more than I was expecting. Um, oh, that's very nice. A bit of toffee note there, some vanilla. Um, Really smooth. You'd expect a young spirit to be quite harsh, but that's nowhere near harsh. That's a really smooth, really enjoyable whiskey. Um, wow. Sorry, young malt, not whiskey. Wow. Really nice work, guys. Nice. Now let's see what the uh, sheep sm sheep dung smoked reserves got in store for us. I think this is also at forty percent. Yeah, and this is barrel nine, bottle four hundred and thirty and yeah, it was bottled this year, 2017. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a different kind of smoke. I've never really experienced smoke like that before. And knowing that it's sheep dung reserve, I kind of, it is just, I think it's my, my mind more than my nose, but conjuring the, uh, the long walks I go for around our house in, when you go kind of turn right and walk about 10 minutes, 15 minutes away, you go from being in the village in the town 
to being amongst sheep fields and it's just giving me that kind of farm note. I think the farm note is actually the key there. That's very, very farmy and not in a bad way, but in a kind of reminiscent conjuring images of childhood kind of trips to farms and uh, even now the walks we go on. That tobacco note is still there. Well, it feels a bit more, um, a bit lighter, a bit more wispier. It's like, a, like the very final moment of a bonfire before it goes out. But with that bay leaf kind of, um, that kind of herbal note to it as well. Mm. On the palate, I think it's a little bit rawer, um, a little bit more raw, I should say. It's creamier. That vanilla kind of note turns into, it actually thickens it up quite a bit in the mouth. Um, quite viscous. Ooh. Mm. Very herby. Nice spice on the tongue and on the finish. Like a kind of white pepper cayenne type spice. A longer finish with this one than the original one. Oh, very nice, very nice. Great job, guys. Wish you all the best with Flucky and your final release when it comes out uh, in a few weeks' time and all your subsequent releases every single year. Cheers and all the best. Thanks. <laughs>